Good evening and welcome to our virtual celebration of the achievements for the August 2020 class at Belmont University. I hope that you, your family and your friends are safe and well, even if you have to practice social distancing when you are together. While I am thrilled to be able to celebrate with you today, please know that we wish that we could be celebrating with you in person right here on campus. Regardless of celebrating electronically or in person, know that we hope for each of you that your graduates will be surrounded with God's grace, blessings, and protections as they move into life after Belmont. We pray that the time you have spent with us on campus and online will help propel you into the next chapters of your life so that you can use the knowledge, skills, and insights gained from your education to engage and transform the world with disciplined intelligence, compassion, courage, and faith. To start today's brief event, I am pleased to introduce two members of the class of 2020, Andrew Van Wert, an audio engineering technology major from Madison, Tennessee, and Allie White, a global leadership studies major from South Lake, Texas, to offer scripture readings. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Romans 12, 1 through 11. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each one of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts, according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Thank you, Andrew and Allie. Graduates, please know that we wish more than anything that we could join you today in person to celebrate your accomplishments by handing your, your diplomas as you walked across the stage. But since we can't do that today, your diplomas, caps, and gowns are being mailed to you and you should receive them soon. We encourage you to take lots of photos of your celebration with your diploma, cap, and gown and to consider sharing those with us. In our traditional ceremony, one of my greatest pleasures is to present the candidates for degrees to our president. In a moment, I'll say the phrase, will the candidates for the degrees please stand? When I say that, I'd like to ask the candidates for all of our degrees to please stand up, wherever you are, at your couch, at your kitchen table, on the front porch, at the park, wherever you are right now, I encourage you to stand proudly and remain standing until Dr. Fisher conveys your degrees. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Will the candidates for the degrees please stand? President Fisher, these students are candidates for their respective degrees. They have been approved by the representatives of the faculty and by members of the Board of Trustees for Belmont University. It is my privilege as provost to recommend these candidates to you for the conferring of the degrees that they have earned. Thank you, Dr. Burns. And let me add my congratulations to each one of you. You've worked hard, you've sacrificed, Thank you to the families. Thank you to each student for all that you've done. 
One of the greatest privileges for me in this job is to have the opportunity to shake your hand and hand you your diploma on a typical graduation day. But of course, you're not here physically with me today, so I don't get to shake your hand and hand you your diploma. But I do get to exercise the privilege that's been delegated to me by our Board of Trustees. So on the recommendation of the faculty and of Provost Burns and the approval of our Board of Trustees, and by the authority that's vested in me by the state of Tennessee, it's my absolute privilege to grant each of you the degree which you have earned. Congratulations. Now would be the time to celebrate there at home, to cheer, to throw the confetti. But now also would be the point in our normal ceremony when we would ask you to stand and sing our alma mater. Yeah, I know a lot of you are scratching your head about our alma mater. You think it's happy together. No, not actually. Um, so rather than stand and awkwardly look at one another, we have the privilege today of hearing Belmont's chorus under the direction of Jane Warren perform our alma mater. Would you please stand and congratulations again. Graduates, know that we are praying for you, that we will always pray for you, and that you will always have a home here in Nashville and at Belmont. As we close out this brief event, allow me to introduce one of your fellow graduates, Sidney Grady, to share words of encouragement with all of you. May God bless and keep you until we see you again. Good evening. My name is Sidney Grady. When I first stepped foot on campus in 2016, I had no idea of how our school's motto of going from here to anywhere was so closely related to the scripture that kept me through senior year. And that scripture is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In August of 2016, I had just got done praying to God that he would give me a job so that I could keep my work study eligibility. And that job was in the Belmont Athletics Department. I stayed there all four years of my college career and Belmont Athletics became my second home. In April of 2016, I became an officer of the Black Student Association. For three years, I held the officer position of community service chair, and in my fourth year, I was the parliamentarian, and BSA became my second family. I was also blessed to be a part of the Belmont Plunge mission trip, and we went to Birmingham, Alabama. We painted houses and cleaned buildings and tended to community gardens, and it was the first time I felt that I belonged in a room full of people that had nothing in common with me, except for the fact that we were on this mission trip together. And that trip was a trip that really inspired me to continue going after my efforts of building my own nonprofit that's focused on women, community service, and homelessness. In 2018, I had to take a summer class because I was determined to go from here to anywhere, and I passed with flying colors. 2019 and 2020 kind of blur into each other because of all the wonderful things that were going on amidst a whole lot of chaos, and we all know about chaos, but the wonderful thing that happened was I decided to become a member of Alpha, Kappa Alpha, Sorority Incorporated in the spring of 2019. It was another place for me to grow, for me to be excellent, and for me to continue encouraging others to go after whatever they want to go after because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and your sisters will always be there for you. I was also blessed to be a part of the first ever civil rights trail trip that Belmont put on. We went to Selma, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama, Atlanta, Georgia, Memphis, Tennessee, and a lot of places in between. And we visited historic landmarks and museums that were all focused on civil rights. I also got my first two industry internships. I'll be honest, I didn't think I would get anything. I, I thought I was too late and that I had honestly missed my chance to intern. 
but God proved me wrong. I was also a resident assistant during this time and forged lifelong bonds with my staff members and everyone in my hall. And people would oftentimes ask me, Sydney, why on earth are you doing so much? And my answer was always, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, I believe in knowing your limits, but I don't think that you should limit your opportunities or the things that God gives you. Because how are you supposed to get from here to anywhere if you just limit yourself? I organized more that year, studied harder that year, and thought that I had leaned on God as much as possible. I mean, as far as I could lean, but, but then 2020 turned into a moment. A moment of uncertainty mixed with opportunity, of epiphanies and cutting ties from things that no longer serve you and your values, of celebration and rediscovery, of civil and human rights unrest, and a worldwide health crisis. But, but we, this class of 2020, we should remember that we're built for this moment. And that we can do it. I know we can do it because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And, and that means that we can go from here to anywhere. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, today is a day that you've made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are glad that you have brought us to this appointed time to celebrate our graduates. We are thankful for them and for the role that you've allowed Belmont to play in their journey to becoming transformational leaders. We are grateful for the faculty and staff who've served, mentored, and encouraged them to the finish line. We thank you for their families and the sacrifices made to ensure their success. Father, we ask that you would support and strengthen them as they journey into unknown futures complicated by the coronavirus and racial tension. Equip them with everything they need to navigate what lies ahead. When they are called to step out of their comfort zone, grant them faith. When they are faced with temptation, grant them integrity. When they face tough decisions, grant them wisdom. And when their hearts are overwhelmed with fear, grant them courage. May they be reminded of the words in Deuteronomy 31 and 8, which states, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. Congratulations, August graduates of 2020. <laughs> Just